Hi everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. I am Amy from Neurotic Mom Bakes and I'm so glad you could be here with me today. Today's recipe is a very simple one, however it tastes very decadent and it looks like you put a lot of effort into it. It's very easy. My Nana used to make these for Sunday dinner all the time and so these are very nostalgic for me and they totally remind me of driving up to my Nana's house and enjoying these for dessert a lot of the time. Okay, so three ingredients. All you need are is whipping cream, um, turned into whipped cream, and bananas, and then some sort of like biscuit or cookie. Now, my Nana and I have always used what's called, these are called Famous Wafers Nabisco, and basically, it is like an Oreo, it tastes just like an Oreo cookie. It's just the cookie, it's very thin, very crisp, and it just goes so well with the cream and the bananas. However, um, graham crackers would work just fine, some vanilla, vanilla wafers would work great, um, basically any crisp biscuit that you think would go well with bananas and whipped cream. But if you can find these, definitely buy them. It is, it's worth it. Plus they're just, it's like the perfect size. So when you stack them, it's like the perfect serving and it looks so pretty. Okay, so what we're gonna do first is I am going to have my whipped cream already whipped up here. So I just got some heavy whipping cream and put it in my, my mixer with the whisk attachment. You can also use the hand mixer and just whipped it until it was nice and thick, added some sugar for sweetness, and that's it. So you can either leave it in the bowl and use a spoon to spread the whipped cream on top, or if you have a piping bag and want it to go a little quicker, just add the whipped cream to your piping bag. Oh, and if you can't find heavy whipping cream or double cream, um, if you want to buy the tub of Cool Whip, that will still totally work. Do they call it Chantilly in like England? I remember asking for whipped cream on my crepes when I was in Europe, maybe Europe, and they didn't know what I meant until I said Chantilly, or she said, is it Chantilly? And I said, yeah, I think so. So maybe that's what they call it. I could be wrong, correct me, comment below. All right, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slice up some bananas. Just nice, ripe bananas. Okay, am I the only one that hates those stringy things? I will go to the trouble to peel those off. Okay, you don't want the ends because they're too hard to stack. And you're just gonna wanna slice them pretty thin. I'm doing these in an eight by eight pan here, so I'm gonna be able to make nine, and you're going to need about three slices per layer, which we do three layers, but the top one doesn't know it, so I'm gonna need like, what's that, nine times three, 27 times two, 54. You're gonna need about 54 slices. Okay. Let's see how far that goes. I might need to slice another half a banana, but we'll see. Now, I'm going to get the cookies and I'm going to just place them on the bottom. Oops, that one's broken. You can totally do these in a larger pan to make more. My nana used to have to make like two giant panfuls because we were a pretty big family. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my whipped cream and I'm just gonna put a generous layer on the top of each cookie. Oh, I did forget to mention, this is a dessert that needs to sit to become what it's supposed to be. Um, so you are going to want to make this at least six hours ahead of time before serving or even the night before. That works great too. So what the whipped cream is going to do is it's going to soften that cookie. And so you will be able to take this tall cookie stack and use your fork and just slice down easily to eat it. It's just so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put three banana slices on top and I, I'm going to kind of press it down so it spreads that whipped cream right to the edge of the cookie. 
This is another dessert that kids could totally help with. Okay, now just to adhere the next cookie layer, I'm just gonna put a tiny dab of the whipped cream right there. It just helps it not slide around. And then I'm gonna repeat the process. I'm gonna press a cookie on top. It's okay to press down to just get the whipped cream to spread out. And do it all again. So the whipped cream. A little bit labor intensive with the stacking, but you don't need to bake anything. You don't need to measure anything. It's just three easy ingredients. Definitely, definitely worth it. Okay, another little. All right, and then we're gonna top with another cookie. Now my mom and Nana are magical and they do four layers. That's just too daunting for me. It's just, they slide all over. I, I haven't managed to get four layers. But feel free if you wanna stack them higher. And then all I'm gonna do is finish with some more whipped cream. And I'm going to Use a spoon to just spread it out to the edge. Because like I said, you want that whole cookie nice and soft. Let me know if you use a different kind of cookie. I would be curious to see, I've only ever done it with these. I'm curious to see if you try something else and how it works. Now, you don't have to do this. Okay, this is totally optional. My mom or Nana never did this. I just thought of it yesterday when I made another batch. But you can sprinkle with a little bit of cocoa if you'd like. And there we go. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to put these right in the fridge for about six hours or overnight and they will be ready to serve. Okay, so I made these yesterday. I made a big pan and they have been sitting overnight and they are perfect and ready to eat. So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, it's always the hardest to get the first one out. I can get the first one out. See, how perfect is that little serving right there? Although, once you've had one, you're definitely gonna need more. To use this. Okay, so there they are, all ready to eat. How pretty do those look? Let's give one a try, and I'll show you how easy they, they cut. Just right down the middle, just like that. See how soft that is? Yes, that, oh my gosh, that reminds me so much of Sunday dinner and my Nana and my mom, she makes them all the time. And one of my sisters, Carrie, always requests these for her birthday. So we have them every, at least once a year on her birthday. So delicious. So let me know if you give these a try and how you like them. And if you would like to see more content like this one, just make sure you subscribe to my channel. See ya.